over here, but there's a st stretch in the middle that looks like it's kind of scraped off. The roller up on top has been rolling that, incorporating into the slope. And if you put compost on the slope, you got to incorporate it or it blows off. And then we hydro seed the other side with a seed mix that's uh, designated by Caltrans. It's, it's all a native mix. And then uh, it gets, it has some commercial fertilizer and also some zinc. We did a-, a Zinc? Soil. Yes. Really? We did a soil sample uh, in 15 different zones <laughs> or 16 and uh, came back as deficient in zinc and then huh. very low in nitrogen Interesting. and uh, potassium huh. and so we, it's what we put on commercially it's commercial it's not organic the mulch you see over the green is a mulch it's put over the top it's uh, all together it's 3,000 pounds to the acre it has an organic tackifier in it which is uh, M binder, it's a plantago based material. It's like a glue so the it's seeds stay there and don't blow yeah. away. So everything stays in place. And the seed is a seed the fertilizer is the first application, then you have the seed uh, over the top, and then you have mulch on top of that, and the mulch goes on it at twenty five hundred pounds. Um, these guys here, the truck on top is what blows the mulch through the hose all the way down here to this and they got a hole in the hose I see. But, uh, yeah the the biggest obstacle they have other than fatigue is the rocks. Mm -hmm. they have the guy up there in the orange vest has a horn. He sees rocks coming and he blows the horn and you'll hear the horn and because even a little rock when it picks up speed that fast right. it Start hits skipping. you in the ankle, it really hurts. <laughs> <laughs> So we try and prevent that as much as possible. This will go all the way to the end and then uh, hopefully we get some gentle rains and things should grow green. Yeah. Cool. The, uh, the green turns brown, it's only a dye that's in the, the hydro mulch, which is defibrillated wood fiber. It's only in there just for our purpose to make sure we get a good even coat. Cool. Has no other purpose than that. So, so the, the rule of thumb in California for construction projects is, this is obviously different because they're doing construction stuff here, but, but typically if you're working in your house or, or something like that, October 15th is the rule of thumb for the start onset of the rainy season. Mm -hmm. And so what you want to do is you want to have all your erosion practices, whether that's some kind of physical jute or something like that, or a seed mix, you want to have that in place before the 15th. So a lot of, a lot of agencies, whatever, will require you to have your stuff done by the 15th, regardless of if it rains on the 15th or not. Maybe it's November, maybe it's December, but they wanna, historically, that was the, the, the first sort of light rains would come through around then. So that's sort of the driver, the timing of a lot of this stuff. Cause you don't wanna put this on the middle of summer. If you're not gonna get a lot of rain, the seeds are just gonna be eaten by birds and stuff and nothing's really gonna happen. So you wanna put it in right before the rainy season, ideally. The, uh, the seed does get eaten by birds, but for all you people that work in the valley or where there is a lot of insects, <laughs> ants eat most of the seed. Hmm, interesting. Because <laughs> they harvest the seed and yeah. they take it underground. <laughs> and so they are actually our biggest predator of our seed. So huh. anywhere we have ants, then we try to do it either Double right triple. out of freeze or something like that. Oh, but that's right. In the valley, there's a problem. There's not much of a problem over here with cool. ants. Interesting. Anyway, sounds so. good. Well, cool. Thanks for your talk. Thanks, sure. man. Yeah, let's sure.